for tuning in to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. Today we have a great program prepared for you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Whoa. For tuning in today to Fellowship with the Doorman. I am your host, Evangelist Ed Henry Jr. I thank God so much for the privilege to be here today with you. I'm asking you to just sit back and just listen to what the Lord has given us. I love you. We praise God because He's so good to us. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to the throne with a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of your loving Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father, so much, God, for the privilege, Father, that you give us to glorify you, God. I ask you, Father God, to bless this program, God, this edition of Fellowship with the Doorman, God, to touch some hearts and souls out there, Father. We asking you, God, to bless souls out there, God, to, to hunger for your word, God. Help me, Father, to hunger for your word, God, so that I can do your will. I love you, Father. I praise you, God. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Praise God, my brothers and sisters. Once again, thank you so much for the privilege to come into your homes today. You know, God is so good to us. He, he tells us that he would never leave us or forsake us, even till the end of the world. And God created us to do his will. We are blessed to be a blessing. And God wants to be able to use us to do his will. Amen? He wants to use us to do his will. God wants us to hunger after his word. Amen? And he tells us that, you know, uh, uh, God tells us that to being confident of this very thing, that it, he which has begun a good thing and you will continue it on, until the day of Jesus Christ. God said he will perform this until the day of Jesus Christ. God is not somebody that's out there looking, looking to whack us. God wants to bless us. He loves us more than we could even begin to anticipate. He loves us more than mom, dad, more than you love yourself. Amen. God has it had his eyes on us when we were conceived in our mother's wombs. Can you imagine that? God had a plan for us. He knew us. God tells us that we were predestinated. Amen. God wants us to hunger after his word and seek after righteousness to do his will. Amen. And I'm so excited, you know, to be here to tell you this. God tells us there is therefore... Now, no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen? We are spirit beings. Amen? God tells us to walk not after the flesh, but walk after the spirit. We are spirit beings. We are spirits. This is who we are. Amen. We are spirits first. We have a soul. We only live in this body. We only live in this body. Uh, people take so much uh, pride in what they can gain, what they, how much money they got, where they live, but that's not important. Amen. God wants us to walk in the spirit as he is in the spirit. Amen. God tells us in Isaiah 43, 13, Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? In other words, God is telling us that no one, no one can reverse his plan because he had us in his cross, 
Carl's Harris, when we were conceived in our mother's wombs, God tells us that we were wonderfully made. Wonderfully made. Can you imagine that? God had plans for us. And all he wants us to do is to do his will. You know, to walk as he would have us. Romans 8th chapter. 8th uh, chapter and the uh, first verse has already told us that there's now no none. No condemnation to them which are in the spirit, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And God tells us in Romans 8, 28, Romans 8, 28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. God has a purpose for us. So what that's telling us, I have a title of this message. How about your check is in the mail? Amen? Your check is in the mail if we do God's will. Amen? But we must first do His will, not our will. Amen? I love you so much and I thank you so much. I urge you to support Fellowship with the Doorman so that we can keep bringing you these programs. I urge you to continue, continue to send uh, the funds necessary. We're going to have great uh, guests and so we're going to have a, a children's program which will be aired maybe every two or three months. We, we'll bring children on. But uh, the children, they are the future. Amen? W wouldn't you say that? And God tells us that, and we know that all things work together for them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose. God tells us in the 29th verse, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Amen. But let's, let's go over to the New Living Translation. Amen. Uh, New Living Translation. And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. For God knew his people in advance. So that's telling us that all he wants us to do is to do his will because we got a check coming. Your check is in the mail. And God wants us to be obedient to him. Obedience. Amen. Obedience is better than sacrifice. God wants us to do his will. And you, you say, well, I don't know if I can do that. It's going to take a lot. But Christ's words say, I can do anything through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. We can do anything through Christ who strengthens us. Amen. You know, we get so busy in doing what we're doing. Uh, we we uh. We try to gain all the money that we can. Uh, you know, we try to go here. We try to go there. And, and then we, uh, we have people that we, we promise that we're going to do something. And, uh, and we don't fulfill the promise that we make. But God tells us that we are blessed to be a blessing. And I'm so glad and I'm so thankful that God saved me. One Saturday night, I was out in the streets of Detroit. Letting the good times roll. But God came into my life. I heard that calling. I pulled to the side of the street. And I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life. Uh, I didn't know. But God's words say. Many are called. But few are chosen. Many are called. But few are chosen. He also tells us that he would not have any of us to be lost. Do, do you know some people that. Uh. You thought when, when they passed that, that this would never happen, that they had a long, long life. And, and they were getting over. You know, they were doing this, they were doing it, and all of a sudden they're gone. God, that spirit, that inner man, God talks to us. Amen? That inner man talks to us. Amen? God tells us that we are here to be his purpose. We are God's purpose. 
Amen. We have a check. Well, that's like having money in the bank. Money in the bank. And, and you don't go to get it. Your check has been there waiting for you. That's the way God is. God is long-suffering. He's long-suffering. Amen? Don't make those promises to the world. Make your promises to God. Ask Him. Help Him. I, I really never had no idea that I would be uh, standing in front of you today uh, preaching God's Word. I, I always loved my fellow man. I had compassion for my fellow man. I did things to, uh, you know, to bring joy to people. But you know what? I was getting the glory. Ed Henry was getting the glory. I would do things and I'd stand back and I'd look. And, uh, you know, people came together and they said, Oh, Ed, you did this? That old pride thing. That's one thing that God hates is pride. You know, he can't use us. He can't use us. God... God is jealous. He's a jealous God. Amen. God is a jealous God. And he, he has the right to be jealous. Amen. If you love somebody so much because he can't use us if we choose to do our will. You know, uh, if you want to see God laugh, just tell him, God, well, here's what I want to do. Uh, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm going to school. There's no problem with going to school. God wants us to, to go to school, to get an education. God, I'm going to retire. God wants us to retire. And, and you say, well, and God then, me and the old lady, we, we're going to take vacations. We're going to travel. Have you ever heard that? We're going to travel. And all of a sudden, boom! You know, that life that you were living, you know, your heart is beating. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And, and you, you, you out there, you're just making your own plans. And the heart stops. Amen. You didn't receive that check that you had coming. Amen. That your check is in the mail. Amen. And you promise God. You say, well, God, I'm going to do this. But you get busy. Just like you promise people that you're going to do things. I'm going to do this, brother. I'll call you. Amen. Then the next time you see that person, you say, oh, man, I would have called you, but I, I was busy. Are you ever unbusy? Are we ever unbusy? We're never unbusy. Amen. You say, well, I just didn't get around to it. Have you ever seen a, a round to it? A round to it is a big circle with arrows in it. And the arrows just continue to go. That's your round to it. You know, you didn't get around to calling on the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your check is in the mail. Amen. If you are pursuing what you choose to do for yourself, you're foolish. You're foolish. God's word says, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called, but few are chosen. When you hear that small, silent voice within your heart, that conviction when God is talking to you. It's time. It's time to receive that check. Amen. Thank God so much for you. We're going to go to a song. Uh, the song is called So You Say You Are a Christian. We know some of those people. Amen. I know I do. Amen. I don't want to be one of those people myself where I, people look at, at me and say, well, you say you're a Christian. I'm going to live. I'm going to ask God to give me the strength, the mind. And I'm going to receive God's grace and his mercy. I got my check. I know where I'm going. If I pass today, I'm not ready to leave here today because I have plans, things that I want to do uh, to glorify God. Each and everything that I do, I want to glorify God. God's word tells us that I can do anything through Christ. Who strengthens me. He strengthens me. Amen. God loves us so much. We're going to go to that video now. So you say you are a Christian. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah.
is there no evidence to make you claim stand? Oh, you will reach out, you reach out, off your Christian to give your brother a helping hand, won't you? You will forgive if you are Christian. You know that's God's command. You can't pick and choose just those you want to love. God is watching you from heaven above. More to being a Christian than talking that talk. If you really love the Lord, you want to know who we Walk on, my brother. Walk on. Walk on, my sister. Woo! You know, Good. How about you? Yeah. Your light will shine off you, Christian. Praise God. Let him use your life. You will rejoice Woo. if you are a Christian. You know God gave you. Jesus made the sacrifice. One day you'll know if you were really a Christian. God planted you here so you could bloom. He gave his son to make us Christians. When he returns, he's going to take only Christians home. And you going? Woo! Oh, you can't pick and choose. Just those you want to love. God is watching you from heaven above. Oh, to be a Christian than talking that talk. If you really love the Lord, you want that one. Walk on, my brother. Walk on. Walk on, my sister. Woo! Hallelujah. You know that lady, darling. Glory to God. Woo! When he returns, he's going to take only Christians home. Are you going? I am. See you. I'll see you if you're not ready. Are you ready? God is, God is, oh, God watching you. More to be a Christian than talking that talk. If you really love my God, you walk that way. Walk home, my brother. When he returns, he's going to take only Christians home. Are you born? I am serious. Did you hear that? Don't get left. Love everybody. Love everybody. Cash that check. Hallelujah. If you really love the Lord, you want that one. Walk home, my brother. Walk on, my sister. Walk on. Oh, walk on, my brother. Walk on. 
Walk on, my sister. Woo! Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that video. Praise God. I urge you to please continue to support Fellowship with the Doorman. 6689 Orchard Lake Road, number 293, West Bloomfield, Michigan, 48322. Amen. And, and if you want to come on this program to, to uh, show your business, if you want to preach, uh, uh, if you have a business that you want to highlight, call me, 313-477-7357, 313-477-7357. I, I know we have a lot of people out there that, that uh, have things that they want to do, but they didn't see uh, an avenue, a venue, a way to do it. Well, call the doorman, and, and let's fellowship with the doorman. That's what we do. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't let that check that God has for you sit there and you don't use it. Amen. You say, well, well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not just ready now. Amen. Uh, uh, I'll get around to it. Amen. But God tells us. Amen. In Proverbs 3, 5, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding because our own understanding will take us into eternal damnation. Amen? Eternal damnation. And God tells us, In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. And the capra is, verse 7, it says, And be not, woo, be not wise in thine own eyes. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Whoa. Some, some people know everything. Amen. Uh, uh, Galatians, the sixth chapter, there's a scripture that reads, If a man think himself to be something and he's nothing, he's deceiving himself. If a man thinks himself to be something when he's nothing, we're nothing. We're dirt. Amen. When, when the minister says ashes to ashes and dust to dust, they're they going to say it about me one day. But you know what? I'm ready. I got my check. You better get that check that God has for you. Your check is in the mail. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. Isaiah 55, 6 says, Seek ye the Lord. While he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. He's not always going to be near. You say, well, I, I put it off to next week and then I go cash my check. But God has already called you. I know so many people. I was in the music and I've, I, I know so many of my peers. I, I, I did many things just like you have. People that you know, suddenly they're gone. When that heart takes that final beat, that's it. It's all over. They didn't cash the check that God had there for them. God tells us to humble our heart. Isaiah 55, 6 says, Seek ye the Lord, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Amen. He's not always going to be near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon him. God, whoa, God's words say for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. Say, it the, say who? Say it the Lord. God says my thoughts. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Amen? Neither are His ways our ways. Amen? Wow!
My, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my thoughts, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Wow. Don't let that check come and you don't cash it. I tell you, your check is in the mail. Call, up, call ye upon the Lord while, while you have time. Humble your heart. Humble your spirit. Your thoughts are not God's thoughts. Amen. Amen. God tells us to seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. He won't always be near. Amen. Hallelujah. And 2 Chronicles, the second chapter, 7th verse, 2 uh, uh, Chronicles, the 7th chapter, 14th verse. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins. Amen. And will heal their lands. Woo! Did you hear that? Cash that check. God has a check for you. Amen? Cash that check. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're going to go to a song. Wow, we're going to go to another video. Uh, don't forget to support Fellowship with the Doorman. Amen? And then if you want to come on, give us a call. So we can fellowship. So you can get your idea out there to the people. Uh, if you know the Lord, you are a minister. You're not necessarily standing behind a pulpit like this here. But we minister each and every day. This is our job. This is our calling to preach God's word. To show some love to somebody. To be encouraging to somebody. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. I love you. I love you. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mike Duggan and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network.